I activate uh, my torch. You activate I, your torch. I will give you a torch in a moment. I call so. into Rick and say, when you're done antagonizing the taxidermy to animals, uh, it, it seems we are heading upstairs now. Okay. He seems pissed, uh, and he's taking it out on the nearest... Uh, well, it's not living, but it's close enough, so that's why he's kicking. So he kicks them over, um, swears... Kicks, kicks what over? These wolves. Oh, okay. You kick the wolves, they don't... They're stuffed wolves. They, they don't, don't put up a fight. Yeah, they're just... They yeah, fall they over. I bet you thought this was a real wolf. Nope, Chuck <laughs> Testa. You have to remove head. All right. He well, swears at them and then uh, therapy. To and do your thing and <laughs> join us. Join us when you are good and ready. Right. <laughs> okay. Good man. So, uh, Tender, you've you've gone upstairs. Um, unlit oil lamps are mounted on the walls of this elegant hall. Hanging above the mantel place is a wood framed portrait of a family with two women and two smiling children. He recognized Rose and Thorn. The apparent father is holding a baby. There are four uh, doors and four suits of armor. The helms are shaped like wolves' heads, and they are each holding a spear. There is a staircase that continues to spiral upwards. So, does anyone else go upstairs? Yes, I head up as well. I think the whole band's going yeah. up. Okay. Yeah. Blip. I'm a good, like, 20 seconds behind, though. Oh, there are two of me. Um, Loader, did you say that you were lighting a torch? I, I activate my torch. Um... Tira, I like, I, I like your, I like your torch. It's very cute. Thank you. It is also very safe. And very fireplace lighting? Yes. I have a lot of fireplaces around here. That's odd. I light the fireplace. Hmm. Okay. The portrait above the fireplace, um, does the father resemble the huntsman that was in the dining room tapestry? Sure, yeah. Okay. They look like the same guy to you. Okay. I mean, humans all look the same to me, but you know. Yeah. This one <laughs> this one appears to have a very similar fur and skin baldness naked pattern to the other one. Okay. What's the deal with these statues? They're not statues, they're just uh, suits of armor holding spears. The helms are in the shape of wolf's heads. Oh. I need to borrow one of those spears. Uh, so I assume you're trying to take a spear from one? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you just you just yank it out. The armor doesn't seem to react in any way. Alright, I'm gonna keep that with me for a little bit. Okay. Um, there, aside from the stairs, there are three doors. Is that correct? Uh... Small one here, and then a couple double doors. For some double reason, doors. I read four. Let me make sure that I didn't completely... Well, technically there's five. Yeah. Two of them are double doors. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure that I didn't read, like, four doors and four double doors. Um, yeah, it looks like that's what's it. So there's two double doors and then a, a single door. Okay. Uh, I will open the single door first, um, after I've gestured for one of the, uh, torch bearers to come over. Actually, um, I'm just gonna light my own torch at this point, uh, if that's fine. That's fine. Uh, if I need to, yeah, drop it to grab my shield, then I'll do that at that point. Oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I open the door. Turtles are dancing! <laughs> um. Okay. Look at my dancing face. <clears throat> Alright. You are uh... in a... What appears to be an undecorated bedroom. There's two beds with straw stuffed mattresses. Um, and at the end of each bed is a foot locker. There are what appears to be servants' uniforms hanging from hooks. Servant quarters. There um, is the dumbwaiter from downstairs within this room, as well as a, another door. Oh, wait. 
the the dumb waiter is just you know, like a small thing for supplies, right? It's not like uh, a servant passage kind of thing where they can move themselves uh, up and down. Not unless they are quite small. Okay. I don't think you'll fit. No, I don't think I would either. Um, I check the foot lockers to see if there's any items of interest. No, it's just like, you know, shoes, some folded clothes sort of a deal. Okay. I head back out to the uh, hall and report my findings. Uh, ready to move on to... Um, we'll check the next door, the one right next to that. Uh, this double door up here. Somebody is dancing, is throwing the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning firebending, Aang! <laughs> We're right. so proud of you! Uh, so you guys... Uh, which room is that? And let me grab my... Okay. Red velvet drapes cover the windows of the room as usual. There is an exquisite mahogany desk in a matching high back chair that face the entrance. Above the fireplace hangs a framed picture of a windmill atop, atop a rocky crag. Situated in the corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. There are floor to ceiling bookshelves lining the wall and a rolling wooden ladder allows them to, people to more easily reach high shelves. Another fireplace. Right. Excuse me. Oops. This is... I'm sorry, what was this to the uh, right side of the room? This is a bar or something? Bookshelves. Bookshelves, okay, yes. Very different kind of energy. Book it all bar. burns the same. Yeah, well, maybe not. But let's not try. Um... I like the fireplace. Lighting the fireplace. Let me scrub. Looking at a couple of the books on the bookshelves, um, what sorts of topics do they seem to cover? Is it just like, is it history of the lands? Is it like hunting manuals? Like what? What are we looking at? Uh, Anything of interest, I suppose. A lot of things: history, warfare, alchemy. Um, poetry and fiction some of them appear to be like original editions of these books um i may return to peruse this library later but uh, we have more pressing concerns does anyone else do anything i wish to investigate the bookcase Okay. Um, let's see. Um, give me a wisdom check. Perception. Looks like a bunch of books. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's if he's trying to check and see if there's, I, I guess I'll check as well. Um, if there's anything that seems out of place. Uh, you know, again, the equivalent of when I was jiggling the coat hangers. Anyone else? Perception. Wanna... Yeah, again, perception. Does anyone else want to do anything in the room? Yeah, I mean, I'm like 20, 30 seconds behind, so um, sure. by the fine time I actually trail in, I'll uh, do the same. So you guys are just just looking at the books in general? I don't know why that showed as the result. Um, uh, it'll default to advantage. Oh, okay. I apologize. No, you can just take the first number. Okay. So... We're just looking at books. Um, well, looking at the bookshelves, looking at the books, seeing right. if you know, as you guys are pulling, check these book out or something. As you guys are pulling books off of the shelves and you know examining them, you hear a whirring and a click. Um, 
and a door swings open behind one of the bookshelves. I am going to just, since it was Corey, move him there. I have moved I, Corey. Into, I know, you guys can't see the, the secret Where did room. the cat man go? <laughs> the cat has walked into a room and the bookshelf has clicked shut behind him. Oh, uh, did I see what he did to open it? Uh, he was looking at some books. So I help. <laughs> so you guys are just gonna kind of look around for a bunch of of different books as this is happening. Um, I call and ask if there was a certain book that he looked at. Hopefully, you can hear me through the wall. Yeah. Do I hear him? Do I see levers or anything? I don't like being in a small enclosed room, so that's the first thing I do. Um, you you hear some like muffled yelling. Otherwise, you're not 100% sure what it was that they're yelling. Um, the room is small. Um, there is a heavy wooden chest at the far end of it. The lid is half closed. There is a skeleton in leather armor sticking out of the chest. Um, there are bookshelves all over the walls. Um, and additionally, more books. Okay, do I see a real like a release lever or button or something like that on on the side that I just came through? Um yeah, as you as you like look at the books, you realize that there's a a book matching the one that you had pulled before, so you swing it open. Yeah, that's the first thing I do. Okay. So he swings it open. Um I'll just give you guys each a little bit of a sight into the room and then pull you out of it. This happens. So now you guys have seen the room. Um, it's gonna get crowded in there otherwise, so. <laughs> okay, right. after I, I open it, I start looking at the skeleton first. Okay. Uh, and I inspect it, make sure, poke it with, you know, an end of a short sword and make sure it's not. Yeah, it's just a dead human. Um, as you look at it closer, he triggered a poison dart trap. There are darts stuck in his armor and rib cage, but the dart firing mechanism has been used. The chest is now safe to open. Huh. Maybe we should be a little more cautious opening uh, any other uh, containers we find. Yeah, Only I'm one gonna... way to open container. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna um, not open the chest and I'll let the, the sneaky dude do that. I'll open the chest. Alright. If you wanna find where your character that there we go. <laughs> A little cramp. He's in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So um as you sort of open the chest and move the skeleton to the side, you see that he is clinging a letter. Um but the chest itself contains you <sighs> eat a dick. The chest itself contains three blank books with black leather covers, as well as three spell scrolls, and a few other official looking documents that have been sealed and stamped with an insignia. Take out, uh, each of the scrolls and just hand them to the other three in the room. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll start reading it. Uh, Same. I will start I mean, reading if, one. If you guys just look at the spell scrolls, they're they're oh. pretty gibbery to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're spell scrolls. They're not just uh. Okay. They don't have any important information them that you can tell. They just they, they don't make any sense to you. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tuck it away. Anyways. Do you do anything with the others, or just the the spell scrolls? Uh, take. There's a scroll in his hand. Yes. Yeah, there was a a letter in his hand. Uh, take the letter and also give that to uh Vald. Okay. okay. So Yeah, I'll read that. You guys should have a letter pop 
pop up to read now if you so choose to read it. Oh, it's for the simple folk. <laughs> yeah, I know, reading. Does someone want to read it out loud? <laughs> someone wants to read it out I can read it out loud if you want. My most pathetic servant, I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to you to lead you on a path to immortality. However many souls you have bled on your hidden altar, however many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon, know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness and took solace in the bosom of another woman and sired a bastard son. Cursed by darkness? Of that I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness? I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Strahd von Zerovich. Sounds like a crazy broad. <laughs> I uh, I kind of inspect the the letter itself, uh, handwriting, um, you know, uh, the like the parchment. How, how old is it? That kind of thing. Um, it doesn't look super old. Uh, it's high quality parchment. You know, the the person who wrote this is obviously well educated. It's got very nice flowing script. You don't recognize the seal that is stamped upon it. Okay, well, I pass it around you know, to everyone else, actually. Yeah. Where did the first turtle with the torch go to? Oh, is he still in the little room? Yeah, he's still in the little room. Oh. There's, there's still other stuff for him to examine if he wants. Wait, is there? Oh uh, yeah, there's a bunch of sealed documents up at the bottom of the chest as well. Is it the same seal as what was on this letter? Uh, no. This is a seal with a windmill. Oh. Hey, tip over the chest and pour out the contents. Okay. Yeah, there's just uh, some letters and documents. Um, you know, either tucked into envelopes or sealed with a, a stamped of a, a windmill insignia. Um, anyone who looks at them can give me a wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you're real good at that, huh? Straight wisdom? Um, yeah, just give me a wisdom check. Okay. Not insight. Okay. Wisdom. I'll take the first one. How do you... I need to... As, how do you do it as that kind of roll? I just did a saving throw because I don't have proficiency, but... I think you if you just, just click the little word wisdom on the left, it'll yeah. uh, make a roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I rolled a and six! Also, are you guys rolling the... You can disable the whole roll advantage disadvantage thing on your character what? sheet. No, it's not It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, I just leave it like that, though. Alright. Where can I disable that? Because that bothers so me. So up at the top, you'll see where it says advantage, normal, and disadvantage. Probably click not advantage. Why don't you say that? Advantage, no, go to, go to core bio spells. Oh, okay. Um, and there's a gear. Oh, and yep. Yep, oh. that. Oh, I, I see. Vol queries. I yep. thought I had oh, set that to you guys previously. Advantage toggle. Aha. There, there you go. Advantage toggle. Yeah, I guess I'd done that with my other group, but not this group. Oh, so okay. you toggle it on and off? Yeah. Yep. Cool. So you can toggle for advantage, normal, and disadvantage between them. Hooray! Yep. Oh, I didn't know there was a toggle. Cool. Yep. It's pretty handy. I've been seeing that on everybody's sheets, but I guess that that's just because that's how... Yeah, I've yeah, got mine set up. Yeah. I thought that everyone saw it that Is that way. how you roll? Yeah. Okay, so besides Vald and Inna, because everyone else... Is anyone else going to give me a roll, or...? Okay. Um, anyone that gets over a 10, in this case low tier, um, you recognize the seal as being very similar to the um, decoration that was on the sword in the main hall. Yep. Well, there was a big windmill painting out here, too, yes? 
Windmill painting. Uh, there was windmill carvings. Carvings, okay. There was one on the long the, sword uh, earlier. Yeah, that's did what we're saying. Did the Huntsman have okay. anything windmilling? Nope. He was just on a, a little forest trek. No windmills. Of course not. There wouldn't be this much fog. <laughs> what about the... Uh... Just... <laughs> What about the suits of armor? Suits of armor. They had spears. Armor, yeah. Spears okay. and wolf armor heads. They didn't have any like emblems or nope. Aldric type things. Okay. Nope. Yeah, there specifically there are three documents. Right now. Are these just deeds to the house? So you you crack them open and take a peek. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll uh, I'll check one of them as well. Okay, so yeah, you see that there is a deed to the house, assumably the house that you're in, a deed to a windmill, and a signed will. Um, the will is signed by a Gustav and Elizabeth Durst, and it bequeaths that bequeaths the house, windmill, and all family property to Rosavalda and Thorndolt Durst in the event of the parents' deaths. Hmm. Huh. Cool. Neat. I exit the room. You exit the room. Oh, I had forgotten about him. <laughs> um, do you guys do anything else in that room? Uh, in that one, um, I'd like to just give it like a, a final, like, just double check, uh, final set of eyes to make sure that it's fine in there, that there's nothing else interesting. Um... Make sure the mimic chest is really dead. Yeah, you know, and oh, the, whatever the, the other small room detritus. Or the, the large room is what I'm asking. Oh, the large room? No, I'm done in there. I guess okay. if the small room closed back up, then well, I don't want to get trapped in there. Yep. So, okay. Um, I want to check this little room off the slave quarter. Uh, slave quarters. The Jesus, voter. Slave quarter. Wow. What kind of family well, do you think this is? My character. A very not creepy okay one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It seem like. Slavey type people. The slave quarters. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> okay. Maybe. I don't know. They may be indentured servants that may as well be slaves. I tell it like it is. It's just well, a we're being closet. kept here against our will. Just a little closet. Right okay. So, I do my usual check the coat hooks, but uh, not expecting to find anything since the room's enclosed. Yeah, there's no shackles in the fucking slave closet, alright? There's no collars hanging up here. It's just some natural servants' clothes. Cool. I think he meant field slaves, not bedroom slaves, baby. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, where did a spit take? Door. Um, ready for the next door. You're in the way. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Tender open it. has gone and hidden in the little closet, I see. <laughs> yes, I noticed. I noticed him slip in there <laughs> as I left it. Ah, yes, <laughs> I fit in here. He fits in there pretty cozy, given his size. You're, what, like, eight feet tall and... Several hundred pounds or something. I say, aren't you? Aren't you not, not just eight, but like eight ten or something? I think I made him a little smaller. Yeah. Okay. Because he's supposed to be very gaunt. All right. Um. Wow. <gasps> Piana. Okay. So. Gossamer drapes cover the windows of this elegantly appointed hall, which has brass plated which has a brass plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Upholstered chairs line the walls, and stained glass wall hangings depict beautiful men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. A harpsichord with a bench rests in the corner, and near the fireplace is a large standing harp. Alabaster figurines of well dressed dancers adorn the mantelpiece. I light the fireplace. <laughs> Did you roll to light the fireplace? That was not a roll, I was just putting that in chat. Oh. Yeah, no, that roll was from before. Okay, I just uh I just heard tink when you said that you light alright, so you've lit the fireplace. Uh bip. Okay, I take a look at this your uh piano. Harpsichord. Piano. 
Every time you call it a piano, the house gets mad. Um, so I'm gonna light on fire later anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, you examine the harpsichord. Um, you see what looks like uh, like the last page of a piece of sheet music, but it's not the first page. It's just it doesn't look complete sitting on it. Um, what do they got planned there? Uh, it's not dun, 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 dun. two of you recognize necessarily. Okay. I Does it look like a beat or just like straight emo? It's wow. How much musical? How much musical talent does your character have here? Probably minimal. <laughs> I mean, it looks like notes on a piece of paper. That, that's what I was trying to find out. I'm like, oh, is this one of my characters that can play a harp or something? Nope, it is not. Okay. Um. As you you as you sit throughout the room, you think you very faintly can hear music playing. But every time that you try to concentrate in on it, the sound vanishes. Um, Tender hears what he thinks is humming of a tune through the walls from where he is located. I look in the, uh, the, the music bench. Is that a music bench? Sure. Okay, I take a look in there. It's just a bunch of various musical pieces there. Okay. Shuffle the papers around. Nothing there. Nothing stands out. Nothing matches the parchment of the uh, harpsichord, of the piece on the harpsichord. Uh, oh. The one on the harpsichord appears to be handwritten on, you know, like uh, paper as opposed to, you know, professionally stamped kind of a thing. Okay. Um, I put the uh, the odd one out in the um, music bench, and I put a random piece of paper or a random sheet uh, on the uh, music stand, and then you I close the. You don't hear anything. Uh, and then I close the bench. Right. Yeah, you don't hear anything. What? And see if he has. Okay. Um, I, I do the similar check that I did in the dining room, which is, uh, does it look like this room has been very recently occupied? Uh, I mean, yeah, it looks as used as the rest of the house. Okay, but not like butt prints kind of thing in the chairs? No. Same thing? Yeah. Okay, cool. There wasn't someone here moments ago, nope. but perhaps earlier today. Okay. All right. All right. I am ready to head up the stairs. Yeah, let's do it. Tender, and... did you do anything? Oh, he's he's muted because he's dealing with an IRL thing, I assume. So I'll give him a moment. Uh, Tender in the... wants to look for the humming. Okay. Um. So from where your character is, the humming is coming through the north and west. If north is above your character. Because you were in the closet, so the humming would be coming from uh, the library Buddy. room. The rest of you did not hear any noise. Okay, and we didn't hear it when we came out into the hallway here? Nope. Okay. He's going to... Look at these books carefully and suspiciously. Um, as you walk into the room, the humming does grow louder, but it's not coming from the books. You must be back here then. It is growing softer. character just flips confusedly. <laughs> Maybe it's in the desk? As you approach the desk, the humming grows louder and suddenly quiets as you get to the chair. You hear nothing. Do I see anything on the desk? Um, as you look on the desk... Let me make sure that I'm on the right page here. Uh, 
there is a tattered piece of sheet music titled Song for Elizabeth. There is also a handwritten partially burnt note that reads Bull Wharton's words can open the way. Um, you remember when everyone was looking at the room, the name of the book that everyone was playing with was called An Architect's Art and was written by Archibald Bulwerton. So. Huh. He wants to put this fire out. He wants to what? He wants to put this fire out. Okay. You can keep right in here. You can put the fire out if you want. It's not cool, bro. No, we're gonna have problems later. <laughs> you successfully put out the fire. As you leave the desk, the humming grows louder again. Alright. I guess I'll cautiously follow my new comrades again. Alright, so you're gonna you're gonna leave the room? Yeah. Okay. Um the humming grows quiet as you leave the room. Weird. Do you tell anybody about it, or do you just say fuck it? He doesn't say anything. Okay. Alright, so you guys continue your journey up to the room. Who is first up stairs? Um, I, I think Vlad was going first, but I would prefer to be towards the front. <laughs> okay. I don't mind taking point with my torch if it comes to it. Vlad, do you have a torch, or are you just... Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to say that. As much as it's possible to do so, the turtle is going to try to squeeze past you so he can take point with the torch. Yep, give me a moment to get people situated. The 1950s. Oh, color back. Um, who else? And then we're going to say... Stop moving! Finding a cozy spot. Yeah, well, that's... Don't move. Um, and who's our last guy here? Uh, I believe that you're all on the proper layer. Right? <laughs> oh, hey! A new spot opened up. Yes. Um, You'll want to move that for spectators as well. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm working sorry. on it. Well, making sure. Okay. Man, these stairs are cramped. Yes, so as you go up the stairs... Um, Dan. Vlad. There is a suit of armor at the top of the stairs. As you reach the top, it turns and looks at you. I don't like that. Okay. Maybe it's friendly. It. Maybe it can tell us where the children right. are. If you would like to swing at it, you are welcome to do so. And now I have to find... Oh, I think this is... An... I guess I skipped a step here. Where the hell... However, pointy not... end. Oh wait, no, that's right. <sighs> okay, so you swing at it. Uh, where is my book? Sorry, I thought that I had this information written down. Um, you swing and miss. Uh, and let me grab... What is your AC? 12. Okay. He punches at you. And hits, and you take four 
four damage. And roll initiative, everybody. Um, and if you guys want to take a quick break before combat starts, we can do that. I know I particularly have to run to the bathroom. So this way people can also kind of get situated with their combat and whatnot. Okay. How is your, uh, your AC only 12? He's not a turtle. <laughs> Fair enough. There is you don't that. have like you don't have like a you know a breastplate or something like that. You got chain mail on. Mine says it's thirteen. So I think he also yeah. has shit decks, but I could be wrong. Isn't chain mail like thirteen? Oh, where the app go? Pain mail. Oh. Well. He still hit. But apparently oh, it's 16. That yeah, makes was, much more sense. Yeah, I was like, that's, that's very not great, because mine's 14. Mine's 19 with the shield. <laughs> I bet. Uh, did my initiative rolls show up? Yes, it did. Yeah. I see yeah. five initiatives. We have some winners here. Yeah. I and the turtle want to get stuff done. You guys are ready for nap time. <laughs> so, so did my roll show up as well? Yep. Okay, it just says... Yeah, I, I can see everyone's initiative rolls. You wanted to send the result of this to the turn tracker, but no token was selected. Oh yeah, uh, I'm. I'll for those of you who didn't roll initiative with your token, I can do that. Um, I can assign initiative to your token for the turn tracker. Um. Oh, I just clicked on initiative from the character sheet. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah, acceptable. Same. You don't have to worry about uh, assigning it to a token if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm trying to find where the fuck my dice went down here. Because that way I don't have to deal with the dice roller there and potentially rolling and showing everyone. You can uh, put your health bar above your character token too. Do that. Uh, if you click on your token and go to the little gear, you can put, um, you know, like 10 out of 10 or whatever your HP is in the bar one. Yeah. You can also put and... your armor on bar two if you want to do that. I think that's how, uh, I have some NPCs set up. Where in the hell are all of my dice? <sighs> God, I will take even one set of dice, not even the whole collection. There we go. Okay, found my dice. <laughs> Bravo. Found my dice. You did it. Grabbing the old monster manual because for some reason that was also down here. Okay. Apparently no one else had to take a break or run to the bathroom or whatever. Dan, do you want to hit the nope. AC? Oh, it's so cold in here. Yeah. I'm not allowed to take a break. Ah, okay. So I do have the turn order. Um, uh, let's see, so, if I had a 21, oh, 15, how do I add? Well, I can manually type in the hit points into the bar, but uh, is there a way for a player to have that automatically added, or does the DM have to get that linked up? What? Um, to just have the bar always reflect my hit points, so that if it changes on the sheet, it changes on yeah, the token. Yeah, just set it to hit points. Mm, can the player do that? I, I believe so, yeah. I'm not looking okay. at it. Ask Corey. He knows how to do it. I'm doing other stuff right now. I know. I was I... asking someone while you were. Oh, okay. I actually don't know. Let me see. No, okay. that doesn't my way. Uh... No, I think, I think it's separate unless the DM does it. Okay, I'll just I'll just type in my uh, HP for now, and 
I mean, you can do like... still have to turn on the visibility for the bar. Right, yeah. So, oh, tender, that's the other one. Uh, tender, add turn. He had six. Okay. Um... Dan, why are you at 66 out of 100? That's what my hit points are. I don't quite think so. Yeah. Not exactly. Did a lot of percentage of my health. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Can I put that there? Is that a thing that will show up? Yep. Okay. Arg. Oh, shit, as I throw the book. I guess, uh, Dan, you get to go again. Um, remember to sort the turn order as well, because um, Tender... Uh, sorted for me. I see Tender with a six at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, 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 no, yep, yeah, okay. There we go, you're right. I didn't have it okay. uh, scroll down all the way enough. There we go. Hooray. We did it. Yay. Just the one robot? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's not a robot, but yeah. The automaton? I'm gonna step aside here and let somebody step off the stairs and then I'm gonna attack this thing again. Okay. Is that including all of your bonuses, or is that just a straight 17 roll? That's everything. Alright. I'm used to it displaying slightly differently. Uh, that's a near miss. Okay. Hmm. That's a beefy man. Yeah. I mean, he has um, a suit of armor. I mean, fair. Um, I drop my torch and grab my shield. Um, and... Uh, uh, and then go for the attack. Is that where you wind up? Yeah. Okay. Trying to step sideways off of there to let someone else uh, get to melee. Okay. Um, what the- oh. I well, mean, you, it's the- You hit with the 20. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's switch that to toggle, though, because I had it set for Inuktitut, but not the torch version! Yeah. Um, um, okay, so damage. Da, da, da. Boom. Nice. Wow, that's uh, that's quite the hit there. All right, you uh, you smack into the animated armor and you like crumple one of its pauldrons. I that may that shows as a plus five. It should not be doing that. I tried to click the damage, but it may have rolled the attack in, wow. uh, again instead. Okay, well. Um. Yeah, that rolled an attack again. I'll just manually roll the damage. Sure. I apologize. No problem. I say it was quite the hit. I mean, it's still reasonable. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's a ten anyway. All right, so it's still a ten. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you crumple one of the pauldrons. <coughs> um. He's not really thrilled about that. Well, it, he'll have to deal. It, I suppose, it is a gender neutral object, it's 2020. Um, let's see. Hmm. 
a 21 hits, yes? Uh, hits me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um... Um, I'm gonna click a thing because if I... Aha! Okay, after rolling an attack, if it's successful, you click the name of the attack in chat, and then it'll roll damage. Okay. Okay. I Sorry. <laughs> I know for next time now. <laughs> Got you. Um, Alright, let me look this up real quick, because for some reason... I don't remember off the top of my head how that works. So the armor reaches out and grabs you. Um, oh, okay. get grappled, son. Yep. First session, doing grapple. Whoop, well, someone's getting ambitious. Yeah. That's, uh, I have to double check on my fucking grapple rules here for 5e. It'll probably be a pose strength for him unless he wants to use his dex. Right. I think it's acrobatics, isn't it? I definitely yeah. don't want to use my dex. It's either a pose strength or acrobatics. Yeah, let, me make, let me just, like, triple check. His strength uh, is plus three. My dex is minus one. Grappling. Somebody just opened a door. No, that's just a creepy hall. I heard a door open. Anybody else hear the door open? <laughs> um. There's birds oh yeah, too. so so you are now grappled. Um. Oh, a. He uh. He basically like, he he grapples you and situates himself, uh, over here. Like in the same you know space that you are basically. Okay. Uh, well, you know, what? actually, I'll, I'll. There, he's over there. He has grappled you and has moved over to where he is now standing. I attack. Ah, uh, that's right. Because you do get an attack for him moving out of your space. Go ahead. Oh, somebody stole my character sheet. Oh, it's over here now. So, uh, twenty-one to hit. Yeah. Yep, you hit. Nice. All right, ten more damage. Okay. Uh, it is now Tender's turn. I can't see him from here, right? Um, we'll say he's got like half cover from where you are. What does half cover mean? Oh boy. Disadvantage. Yeah, it's disadvantage attack rolls. Am I still running fast? Because the spell lasted like 10 minutes. Um, I mean, you can still move at your, you know, fast speed if you want. So I could run up here? How far can you run? You can run 30 feet, right? Yes. And so, each square is 30? I mean, 5? Yes. So if you want to run all the way next to the dude, you can do so if you want to run basically any square that's available you can also run through your allies uh that's not is that available yeah oh, okay should yeah. be um that's a bit str oh did you clip through the wall <laughs> hang on did i yeah you might have that's I'm fine just the one square north of blood yeah, 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 yeah. you're fine i didn't realize there was a wall there uh, did some weird stuff on my end. <laughs> and I guess I can throw a spell in now, right? Yeah. I could try to hit him with the old... I could try to hit him with the old grabby uh, hand. I am, I am now not looking at stream. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> bizarre. Don't worry about it. Um, Yeah, so you, you can try to hit him with a spell. So I can aim a chill touch at him? Yep. Okay. So I don't know if I set this up right. So that's your attack roll? It's 14? Yeah, oh. I believe that... I believe it rolled the damage as well, so I... Okay. I'm gonna um, click that button. You, you do shoot your chill touch, but it kind of flies past him and smacks into the wall. That's unfortunate. It is a lukewarm touch. Yeah. It is now Vald's turn. 
Okay. Um, so I have disadvantage then if I were to shoot him. Assuming I had a bow out. Yeah. Um. And what does, um, I don't know Tyr's character's name. Low tier, right? Low tier. Do you have a, um, a ranged weapon out, or? His arms are full of crossbows. <laughs> Did you want to borrow one? Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> I was just, I, I was gonna, I was gonna, you know, be a backseat archer and basically use my help on him. Do you so want him? Out. <laughs> No, that's fine. I'll be a backseat archer, so I'm gonna use um, my help. I'm gonna, like, uh, use a help action. Sure. Um, You're gonna help him line up his shot. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Uh, do we, can I? Can I move and then shoot? Because I actually can't see him right now where I'm standing. Yeah. Um. Like I said. So. So where you're at, you've got. He's got half cover, so he would have disadvantage. With help that should cancel. But. Which yes, the help action, um, Valdrick Rick, would basically kind of act as your spotter in this case and just give you a normal attack roll. Yeah, so that's all I'm going to do on my turn, I guess. Okay, so next up is low tier. So if that gets rid of the disadvantage, then... Um, okay, so you just, you just shot a crossbow bolt into the ceiling. Rip. And it comes back around to Vladimir. Every, every single thing that misses, I just am thankful it doesn't hit me. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm gonna walk up to this squabble and hit the guy. Alright. I'd appreciate it if you did. Go for it. With a 23 to attack, yeah. Yep. Yep, that hits. Okay. Um, you know, I don't... Is that right? Because I might have to re-roll that. Hang on. Yeah, that one... I don't like how it displays either. Because I re-roll my 1s and 2s on damage, and that'd be a 1. You might have to set a macro yeah, to have it re-roll the 1s and 2s. Well, I guess it's a 5. Okay. You are up. Okay, how does... So, am I just... I use an action to get out of the grapple and then I don't have an you attack? You must succeed on either a strength athletics or a dex acrobatics check. Ooh, I can use athletics. That makes me happy then. I will make an athletics check. Let me uh, grab my page back here. Just to look up my... Highly likely. Yeah! Alright. And then it would be... I believe it's an opposed, right? Okay. Yeah. I would say good luck, but I don't mean it. Bad luck. Oof. Okay. You you squirm and struggle, but you do not get out of his grip. He's got you pretty solidly. Really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. What a meaty boy. Yeah, he's a he's a, a thick lad. <laughs> All right. So I, I don't I don't suppose I'm able to at least like try to maneuver the grapple around to get him, you know, out more into the open. Nope. Like switch places with him or anything. Okay. Nope. He uh, he's he's got you. All right. Um, how much does your character weigh? Um, four hundred something. Um, four hundred sixty. I am also a beefy boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's he's going to try to throw you over the edge here. Battle. Do I get to oppose that? Uh, no, that was your your previous turn there. So he's got you. This is his attack, is to basically shove you. Okay. 
Um. I wish we were able to get into the basement now. <laughs> <laughs> On the way over, I just tuck in and cannonball down. Oh god, yeah. Um, so... He, uh... He does a throw. <laughs> Grapple me... and a throw? Oh no. Yeah. He's uh, he's got some pretty intense attacks going on. Do I land on the stairs or do I go down the middle? Oh, you go down the fucking middle, bro. Um, <laughs> it's not even I... a thing. Um, do I have time to yoink inside my shell? You uh, you get hoisted. Let's say. Let me uh, <laughs> grab real quick the damage here for getting yeeted. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, 1d6 bludgeoning for every 10 feet fall. Yeah, that's what I was. I was just trying to look up because I know that I've got the numbers here somewhere. So yeah, it looks is like you're like, like uh, 2d6. I yeah, is there any like or anything? Looking up. What? I don't know. Is there any like reflex or something? I don't know. No, I don't see anything. Never mind. Yeah, I had I had the page open and then I restarted my computer, so it lost my my spot on the page. But yeah, we'll just call it 2d6 damage for getting eated down the fucking stairs. What a dick. Hey, well, I'll... Can I, can I pull that back over to the other... To, to floor one? Yeah, I'll, Or is that I'll gonna, like, give weird vision? Okay. Uh, and you are gonna take... Five damage. Um, I'll just move okay. you. I'll just slap you there for the moment. Just because I assume after okay. combat you're gonna come running back up anyway. Okay. So... Your friend is... Well, your, your acquaintance has been fucking hefted over the edge and uh you hear a very solid thunk as he hits the ground below um where'd the armor go uh do you not see him oh wait what the i had a torch <laughs> uh... my torch should still be there i dropped it there but oh, um oh do you not see you're gonna him? need to Oh, You're gonna need why. to throw a torch token yeah, down. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Let me grab. Yeah, that uh, that wall is like, I yep. mean, that like a uh, balcony um, railing is like a fucking wall. How's that? Yeah. There we go. Okay. And it is now Tender's turn. The tender doesn't like how this is going, so he wants to open his door behind him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, you, you played XCOM, Matt. You Inadvisable. Know. <laughs> I mean... Don't open wanna, another pod. If you want to open the door, you can open the door. Hope your hand sticks to it. <laughs> um, which room is that? Uh, yeah, that's not locked. So... And I guess I'll, I'll walk into it some distance. Sure. How many doors can I open in a turn? We'll just call it the one. I guess, I guess I'll do this. Okay. Uh, uh, can I see it from here? Yeah. I guess I'll throw a spell at the end. Sure. Same one. Where'd it go? Looks like he has cover. Makes me happy. Grabby him. Alright, you hit him. He's still standing. It's looking a little little icy, a little banged up. Uh, it is now Vald's turn. Okay. I'm going to um, move here, drop my um, items, pull out my bow, and 
shoot this dude. I know that you can... Can you do all that in a turn? You can drop. Um, well, I drop an item as part of a move action. That's right. And you didn't use all of your move, so... Okay, uh, so that's you... a... I don't think you can shoot him from there. I mean, I'm presumably I'm peeking around the corner. It's not, like... I'm blocking myself with the cover. I don't think it goes like center square to center square, I think as long as... I don't know. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Just, that didn't happen. Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Alright, we'll call it, I suppose. It's a bit sketchy, but... works. You draw a line like that. You hit him. Yes, that was your 22 and 9. Alright, he goes down. Your armor goes down, rather. He goes down. So the armor, like, crumples in a heap. It is no longer animated, it is just various bits and pieces. Are we out of combat now? May I huff my way back up the stairs? Yep. Huzzah. Uh. Well, Tenders don't want to open this door.